Behind me is Tom Swazi's old office, the man who see George Santos now holds now on the official House of Representatives website. This address here in Douglaston is listed as Santos's district office, but it doesn't even seem like he's even moved in. You can see Swazi's name still on the awning here behind me. Today, the chorus of voices calling for Santos to resign. It keeps getting louder and louder, but he is standing strong saying he will not resign. He's a national joke. He's an international joke, but this joke's got to go. George, I'm speaking to you. It's time to step down. They were there by the dozens. Nassau County Republicans calling for the immediate ouster of fellow Republican George Santos, sworn in just days ago to represent the 3rd Congressional District. Other state conservatives echo the sentiment as well. The Republican leadership says Santos is a disgrace and a stain on New York. He's not welcome here at Republican headquarters for meetings or at any of our events. But even as the chorus of voices demanding his removal hits a fevered pitch, Santos is doubling down, tweeting he will not resign and saying, I was elected to serve the people of NY3, not the party and the politicians. Yes, he's right that the voters uh, are who elected him. But where he goes wrong is that he used deception and uh, misrepresentations in order to get them to vote for him. Fellow freshman lawmaker Dan Goldman, who represents New York's 10th congressional district, filed an official complaint with the House Ethics Committee to open an investigation into Santos, specifically about what he has reported as his sources of income and the authenticity of his campaign finances. Goldman, a former prosecutor, says there are multiple red flags. There's easily enough there for a federal investigation. There's enough there for a federal investigation based on George Santos' statements alone. Where state conservatives have been outspoken, the Republicans in Congress have remained largely silent. Late Wednesday, Kevin McCarthy, who needed Santos's vote to get the position of Speaker of the House, told reporters in Washington he won't push Santos to resign. Last month, Santos admitted to fabricating parts of his education, work, and personal history, even lying about being the descendant of Holocaust survivors. A person who tells that length and breadth of lies built one on top of the other is not a normal person. He needs to get help. Now, we reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Eastern District of New York to ask them if there is a federal investigation into possible criminal activity during Santos's campaign. They would only say no comment. Now, if George Santos were to resign, a special election would have to be held. But again, today, George Santos remaining defiant, saying he will not resign.